with Justin. Uh, T Mac, how do you just reflect on the game from last Saturday and what you were able to do? Uh, shoot, I'm not really worried about what I did. Just I was just mostly looking about what the team did. You know, we got a lot of areas to fix, obviously. Um, we got NAU this week. Uh, coach, coach has been preaching about how, you know, teams make the biggest jump from week one to week two. So, shoot, we got we to gotta prove to the world that, you know, um, that we are a ranked team, we're a good team, and, um, shoot, we got to just go out there and prove it. Have you ever had a 300-yard game before? <laughs> nah, never. <laughs> Um, first time with the offense with Dino Babers being the offense coordinator first came out. How did it feel out there and how did the communication go in terms of the headset and just the total communication throughout the game? Uh, I mean, shoot, me personally, I don't have the the headset in, the, um, in my helmet, but uh, I, I think the game went pretty smooth, you know. I feel like, um, you know, not too many people get to do what we did last night, I mean, uh, the other night. And, um, shoot, uh, we have confidence in uh, Coach Babers to call the right plays and put us in good uh, positions to – um, be successful. What did you gain from all that work you did on the side during the training camp? Oh, shoot, just how blessed I am, man. You know, um, not too many people get to do what we do. You know, there's a lot of people in the world that um, dream to be in the position that we are. You know, just me being out for a little while, just in, in the back, just seeing what everybody else is doing and for all being taken away from me for such for a little amount of time, just uh, really just allow me to be grateful for the whole situation, just every opportunity I get. Uh, you know, God has, uh, has blessed me with amazing things and uh, amazing opportunities, and so I just, hopefully I can go out there and, you know, um, do his will. The, uh, the play where you outran the defense, was that kind of one of those ones that you and Noah have a thing where you just knew that that spot wasn't right and you needed to go somewhere else and he saw you? Yeah, for sure. I mean, if you... Uh, it was funny that we were talking about this yesterday. You know, I was watching. I was just we was just rewatching the play, and I was just like, "Man, is this like one of our best chemistry moments right here?" Uh, so, uh, yeah, just uh, like I, I, we speak about it a lot. You know, just our, our relationship off the field is um, correlates to on the field, and you know, you can obviously see that in that play. You know, just him knowing that I was got, I was going to the next window, and me knowing that he was going to throw me to the next window. Um, it was just night and day, and shoot, we just I'm just happy we made a play. And were, were you surprised at how? little they were doubling you that it was single almost all the time or zone? Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure I was surprised. But, um, you know, I, I got to expect that every week to, you know, get um, get double coverage. Um, but that just opens up everybody else's opportunities, you know. It's just, at the end of the day, it's just not me playing, playing the football game out there. Um, there's three more receivers on the team. Uh, so uh, it gives a chance for everybody to be successful. What's the origin story? Oh, uh, now nah, there's not there's not really no origin story, but so you know we've been doing this since we was 14 years old. So um, every chance that we get to uh, score six points together, you know him throwing me the ball, or shoot, hopefully me throwing him the ball someday. Even who knows? But um, every chance we get to do our do our little handshake after a touchdown is just a blessing. Not too many people get to do what we do. Oh. Uh, I think we just kind of put it together when, you know, we were just little kids, just having fun, 14 years old, like I said, eighth grade, you know, just out there just, man, we need to come up with something, you know, so <laughs> that's what we came up with. Justin and Michael. Uh, so you have 176 yards after a catch. It seems to be, you know, an element that's been added to your game. What do you attribute that to? Oh. So many yards after a catch. Uh, shoot, I mean. That's to everybody, you know. Does Coach Babers put me in the right position to uh, be successful? Uh, Cole throw me the, the the ball where I needed to be, um, and just Coach Bobby and just the the whole coaching staff encouraging me to be, you know, a, a, a high caliber player that I'm I'm supposed to be. Um, you know, I think my mindset is a lot different from last year. You know, my mindset is just to make plays as much as I can, and uh, it's a lot different from last year, like I said. And shoot, but I gotta give testament to all my all my teammates and my coaches. Personal and team goals for this season? Oh, man. Team goals, Big 12 championship, national championship, uh, personal goals, break er every Arizona receiving record there is. Last question for T-Mac to Jenna. What does it mean for you to get the first football Big 12 offensive line and also the AP national player in the league? I mean, shoot, that's just a blessing, you know, just um, 
it's crazy to think that, you know, that was my first game back. And uh, just being able to do what I did, um, just huge testament to all my teammates and my coaches, you know, just putting me in the right position to, to succeed. And shoot, you know, that's only the beginning. You know, hopefully there's a, that we got a lot more games to play. Um, and should we just trying to show the world that what we can do. Appreciate that, y'all. Appreciate it. Easy, easy. Is it a little weird being out there and playing against New Mexico after being with them last season? Yeah, that game was it was kind of weird, but fun at the same time. Getting to play against my old teammates, knowing, knowing that that school did so so much for me, me graduating there, and you know just all the stuff that they did for me. So it was definitely kind of weird. Yeah. Well, what do you think was the the biggest part of your guys' turnaround in the second half running the ball? Just just feeling the flow of the game, you know, just understanding our assignments and just trusting the process, basically knowing, you know, you might get three yards here, four yards here, and later on down the line, you know, those big runs are going to come. So it was basically, basically just trusting the process. And then uh, what are the benefits of having a lineup of six offensive linemen and a fullback? It's, it's kind of it's, – it's great. It's great, you know, just – Having those guys, you know, them being great athletes, them, you know, wanting to block them, them, them wanting to block just the grit that they have is just, it's just unreal. And I'm just happy to, you know, be able to run, run behind those guys. Kenan and Brian. Two guys in one. What did you make of Kaden Luke in that performance with the key blocks? Kaden Luke, he just, I mean, I knew going into that game, those plays that he had called, he was going to make those plays because of how he practiced, you know, the energy that he have, and just him being ready, you know. He, he grew up a Wildcat fan. You can – he have a little picture of him when he was younger in a Wildcat jersey. So he was just waiting on his moment, and when that moment came, he executed and, you know, he just did it well. Totally, yeah. They came out with, with um energy and stuff. They just they just had to, you know, just get together and just come as one, but moving on forward it'll it'll be like way much cleaner. Brian and Michael. When we talked to Quali on Saturday night, he, he said that when you eat, he's happy and when he eats it, it works for you. How do, how does that work for you when you're not in the game and seeing that? When one of us is not a game, you know, we just stand fresh. We just stand fresh. When I'm on the sideline or he's on the sideline, he's telling me, oh, you should have did this or you should have did that. We just, you know, just work as one because playing the position, running back, you got to have more than one running back. You just, you know, can't carry the load. That's how you stay fresh. And it was just, it was just good seeing him go out there and, you know, make those big plays when he was scored. You know, when he scored, I was happy for him because I know, like, both of us going to get the job done. So it was just, it's just great having, you know, two, two, three good running backs, a good running back room. So it's just great having a lot of good running backs in the room. When you go out looking at the, the tablets on the sideline, did you get anything good from that? Yeah, yes, yeah, so you can get a lot of good stuff from those tablets, you know, bad reads, you know, just, it's just a lot of different stuff that you can get from those tablets. Yeah. Michael and Justin. Uh, two questions. Um, the first one, you're in the video game uh -huh. now. What do you think of your likeness and also your ratings? My ratings, it's an 8 of 4 right now. Hopefully, by the next update, I can, you know, influence NCAA to, you know, up it to, like, you know, a better ratings. So I'm just happy I'm in the game, you know. I, I've been playing with myself um, for all night, and it's just, it's just happy. I'm just happy to be in the game. Sure. Yeah. And um, you were hosting the, the video, the Chilling with Bill, series. Yeah. Um, how, did, how did that get started and is that something that interests you once your football playing days are over? Uh, they got started actually last year. I think they had a D lineman. Yeah, I think they had a D lineman named Bill last year. So he started chilling with Bill and the, when I came they was like, you want to do an episode? And I was like, yeah, it's kind of cool. And after I'm done playing football, you know, I'm, I honestly look to do a podcast or something like that, you know, stand around sports or something like that. So it's a good start. Uh, what was it like witnessing T-Max performance on Saturday? 
it was it was unreal. I love playing around good athletes, having you know good a good wide receiver, good quarterback, good old lineman. It just it's just fun playing around a lot of athletes and just and just making making a lot of plays with those guys. And then on, I think T Max first touchdown, you picked up a blitz. Yeah. Um, has blocking always been a part of your game, or is that something that's been new yet? No, it it always been a part of my game. Like um, coach emphasized, like you can't block, you can't get the rock. So. It was, it was just, well, that's just a part of our game, just blocking. And, you know, if I see a guy coming and I know it's a pass and play, you never know, that might turn into a, to a touchdown pass. So I was like, yeah, we got to, you know, that's just us being a family, not being selfish. Like, if you know you got to do your job for somebody else to get open, then that's what we're going to do every time.